Back when I used to squeak still With my cousin split screening You know I used to kill steel By screen peeking Okay, what is this? Call of Duty Some like it, some hate it Some can't escape it Because no matter what they do It's always mentioned that they promised a video About the newest game's multiplayer a long time ago After my NW2 campaign video I really dreaded making another Call of Duty video I dreaded this new Call of Duty in general This isn't a nice video where I talk about the pros and cons of II's multiplayer In all honesty I lost my love for Call of Duty a long time ago. And during a transition period in life from COVID and growing up, I got a re-spark of it. So now when that spark doesn't light the same, it's really noticeable. But when I made that Black Ops 2 video before the MW2 one came out, I remembered why I like Call of Duty again. And recently I got that same feeling in my tummy when I played MW2. Get that On X Labs. Yeah, hell no, not this one. Yeah, it was it was just kind of cool. Okay. I assume you've heard about AI art somewhere, right? Well, today's video is sponsored by Wonder. Wonder is an app that turns words that are coming out of my very mouth now into digital art made entirely by AI that you can get by clicking the link in the description which also gives you a free trial of premium. And to use the app, all you have to do is make a prompt like Ghost playing Fortnite and watch as Wonder makes it a reality in seconds. Like look at this little guy, he's just chilling. Or you could get even deeper with it and make interesting imagery like the ghost town from Call of Duty 4. Yup, it still looks like Vegas. Like, look at all these amazing little things I made on the app. Yes, that is Soap eating a cheeseburger, and Saul Goodman playing tennis, and Captain Price fishing on a nice, beautiful lake. To make all these funny, crazy little creations, all you have to do is click the link in my description to download Wonder where you could then get a free trial of the premium version. With premium, you get 20 plus styles, unlimited art uses that generate faster, and no ads. For real guys, I've just been having fun with the app trying to make random stuff because my humor is completely broken. I think you have a good laugh with your friends like me. So yeah, try Wonder out. Now back to the video. Xlabs was a mod client made by fans as a safe way to repopulate the servers of old Call of Duty projects. But recently Activision has put on the villain gloves and took the fans back to the shed and told them to smell the roses. All of the old Call of Duty games are still full price on Steam despite being just as old as Harrison Ford, but like Harrison Ford, they still kick ass in old age, while also aging really well. Answer me, you black- <laughs> Sorry, that was a tangent. Blazing so hard, you would have thought it was like LeBron or something. Some of these dinos are not safe to play either, having tons of security violations as well as compromised servers. I'm not talking about the teenager who just finished watching Mr. Robot and thinks he's hot on the block hacking Modern Warfare so they could fly around the entire map. Uh, Black Ops 3 would literally dox you if you loaded up to play. This is just the vanilla game as well. You, you didn't pirate a copy of Angry Birds 2 or s get some sneaky Premiere Pro plugins. You just simply played the game you paid for, and now the whole world knows that you live at 308 Negro Royal Lane. But when Elliot from Mr. Robot isn't selling your information to the dark web, you still gotta deal with the 16 year old slipping Jimmy ruining your experience for something you paid money for. Sometimes full price if you're a little slow. But Skipper, it's me, the CEO of Big Baller Productions. Why don't you just play the new gaming COD catalog instead? But Big Boss, the reason no one wants to play these new games is because these new games are making me want to attend a Juice World concert. The modern Call of Duty experience is a yearly dragged out live service model full of slow updates, microtransactions, and a bunch of boring non-player friendly shit. II is the biggest nightmare of Call of Duty when it comes to the slog model, where it could be an easy dunk like Vanguard, it's somehow even worse than Vanguard since it's wearing the face of something it ripped off that everyone once loved so they could trick you that this is anywhere near a good project, but it, it's not. II had a funny launch and like everything in society now when it comes to media releases, people are either overly cynical or radically delusional, but the meat writing to this game is gone now, thank god because it was stupid and made no sense then, and it makes no sense now. MW2 does not care about realism, this is not the fun couch co-op game for the 9 to 5 dads going back to form, this game does not care about you, Activision does not care about you, you are a statistic, you mean nothing to this company, I'm sorry you have to hear this gamer dads, but please find a new loving home, this is not the place to be, this is Mad Max. For $70 you get battle passes that you still need to pay for, uh, they still care about Warzone more than the main game for some reason, even though it's so much worse and damn near dead, uh, Activision keeps morally grandstanding to dumbasses they gave skins to in the first place for being popular in a game about realism. Also in this game about realism you can play as a fucking rat as well as Kevin Durant who might as well be a rat since he only moves where you can smell cheddar. They keep drip feeding maps and guns
guns that are already in the previous Modern Warfare, or they just add new stuff that sucks ass entirely. How exciting, you added a gun from 2019, and you're so bad at making good maps, you once again have just relied on shipment all the time, and shoot house, like 2019 as well. If you're gonna be lazy, at least just be smart about it, and just add all the original MW2 maps, because holy shit, you can't do anything right. MW2 is a boring, limited, soulless, directionless pitfall of a game, but it's okay, because at least you could play all the old Call of Duty games that you enjoyed, so that's nice. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, shit happens with game studios, and sometimes fans need to Thanos the hell up and save the shit that they love. Respawn has their hands full of Star Wars and a <laughs> dying battle royale, and while it doesn't excuse the mess that Titanfall 2 has become with its servers, at least you could play the North Star client and have a great, amazing time with that amazing game. Same with other games like the original Battlefront 2, hell, even the new Battlefront 2 with a Kyber client. What I'm saying is that a lot of games are held up by its community long after the devs have either left or died alone in the desert, and sometimes the woods, of Endor. I'm a goddamn onion. But Activision is so insecure of fans doing their jobs better than them for free to save their old games that could possibly mess with the player base of their current bullshit that they hand out cease and assist to mod projects and clients that want to keep these games alive. A long time ago, there's a Halo mod project called El Dorito that was shut down due to 343 bringing all the Halos besides 5 to PC. And while it sucked, at least there was a reason. If Halo's gonna be on PC, it's gonna cause competition between the player bases of the mod and the real game. Doesn't excuse it, but I get it. And MCC is in a great state and it's dirt cheap to play all the games you once love and it still receives updates and new content. <laughs> Activision though, has willingly neglected these games, keeps them purposely inflated while also allowing them to be a danger to the public. So there's literally no other way to play some of these games without a couple of cutie patooties stepping up to save the day. And when the fans show dedication and love with free development and modding and client support, Activision gives their thanks via cease and desist. Wow, this thanks, thanks so much. Piece of shit. SM2, which was a mod client, was shut down. X Labs, which was an MW2 server browser client, was shut down. COD Ghost shut down. Advanced Warfare shut down. BO3 wasn't even finished and was made so that you could play without getting doxxed. Yeah, they pulled the damn plug on that thing. Legally, Activision has every right to do this, but they also legally have the right to suck my fucking balls. To some of you watching this video, do you like Valve games? Do you like Left 4 Dead, Counter Strike, Team Fortress 2? And other than the Valve, do some of you like DayZ, Killing Floor, or a Star Wars military sim? All of these games are a result of people getting little light bulbs at 3 a.m. and making some cool shit with other people's cool shit. That's modding. Modding is such a dedicated and talented way to show love and passion to the stuff you enjoy, and has created so many original games, and has gotten so many talented people jobs. Doom has created so many fucking great games itself. Like, you've probably seen them cover like other people's video essays, but some of the shit people are doing in that Doom like engine is insane. So legality is such a weasel way to justify a publisher being a piece of shit. Activision has clearly showed where they lie with everything. Caring only about money and not the fans, which makes the fans have to operate like mice, finding a secret way to still play Black Ops 3, while also doing a daily blood ritual so that Plutonium could survive week by week. For my BO2 video I used Plutonium, and for the little amount of time I played X-Labs for, it was some of the best experiences I've played of Call of Duty within the last five years. And seeing people have fun in old games that they care about, like Halo MCC and North Star and a bunch of other clients, shows that Activision does not give a fuck about any of us. They are losing not even pennies by this project existing. So it's not because of financials, but to make a statement. And everybody jokes about how next year we're all just gonna buy the same COD, but I'm done with Call of Duty. They're already ditching their initial plan, since the community is fighting back and is pulling out an NW3, which will have all the same fucking problems. You don't need to play COD, there's, there's options. Recently I've been playing so many new and old fun games like Tears of the Kingdom, Payday 2, CSGO, and many other titles that are filled with life and a good dev team that cares. And recently I played X Defiant, which somehow you play outdid Call of Duty and recaptured the old COD's original spark. The gun plays in dog shit, it doesn't rely on shipments like NW2, and it has a bright future. I hope, but this is you play, so if it's bad, I plead the fifth. I'm okay with Activision being lazy, but unlike 343 and other lazy studios, Activision is also being malicious, and I have a problem with that. So, fuck Call of Duty, this shit sucks. Subscribe if you like the video. I'm done for now. Who knows, maybe I might make a retrospective on MW2 if you guys truly want that, but I'm Skipper, and Rocket approves this message. Goodbye. No, I is. Loneliness is a new to me. We done this. This is not the part of mystery. McDonald's, I was broke in paradise. I spoke a pizza when she set the price. Got me right up, messed 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 up, messed